Josh. <laughs> Josh! How does it feel? Do you enjoy all those emotions that my sisters got to feel once, one year ago? Only, only guess what? They didn't get to laugh it off. No! Nope! No, no, no! They're gone! Jessica's fucking dead. What? Did you hear me? Jessica is dead. And you are gonna fucking pay, you ah! dick! What happened with Jess, Mike? I don't remember killing Jess. Jesus Christ. Oh, God. Oh, my God, Matt! Calgary. Hey, Billy. I had a great time. Look me up if you're ever in Calgary. Loretta, XXX, Billy Bates, Blasting Crew, Northwest Mines, Alberta. I could, I could never. I thought I saw something back there. Go, Emily. Just keep going. Ugh. Those sounds are just... Oh! Right here. Okay, already? Here we go. I have no idea. Well, Mike with the gun, but that's it. Hello? My mind is playing tricks on me. I'm constantly seeing stuff, but trust me. <laughs> um. You will see what it is in this chapter. The second big twist of the game, besides Josh being the one that, uh... Oh! Did you see that? Uh, that looks closed. Step in the hole! Okay. Okay, this is gonna be the way. Okay. Are you ready? Uh, left. Oh! 
Go, 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 go. Yeah, that just happened. Stay on. Leash her out of the mines. And there's a lodge. Just, just go. Confused? Wait, a monster? Concerned? Am I away? Alright. Uh, let's go with concerned first. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I, I don't feel anything. I just need to calm down. It was moving so damn fast. What? I just had to get away. Away from what? Th there was this, this thing, whatever it was. I think you could relax. Josh was messing with You're us. You're not listening to me. Uh, confused. What happened? Or concerned? Where is Matt? Uh, where's Matt? Wait, Em. Where's Matt? Is he okay? Matt, oh god, we, we couldn't use the cable car, so we climbed the tower, and then it fell, and we were down in the mine, like, way down, down in this terrifying freaking mine shaft. Hold on, hold on. And, and oh. it was Matt... And Just let her talk. Were... Oh god, I think that Matt might be dead. Wait, what? How? Emily, what happened? I, I was walking down there in the mines, and it was dark, and I found this pile, and... There was Beth's head. Wait, what? Beth's head, I found oh it. Oh my god. What the fuck? Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. I think they fell down there. Oh, Jesus Christ. But the worst part is I don't think that Hannah died, like, from the fall, not right away. Wait, what? What do you mean? I don't know. I feel like she was down there, like, starving to death for weeks when we were all up here looking for her. We had no idea. Jeez, that's horrible. Listen, in in the tower there was there was a radio and I, and I got through to someone, but then that was right when the tower collapsed. Em, you made it. Oh God, yeah, yeah, Mike. Barely. What about Matt? We're trying to figure that out. Yeah, and there, there was this monster that was chasing her. I, what? She's all messed up, guys. No, she's not. Emily? Hey, Em. We'll, You'll get. We'll get the explanation now. What Josh, that Jess. creature wash, wash, was. I don't know. We should check it out. I got your back. Good. 
Um, I'll open the door. Okay. I'm gonna open the door. You ready? You ready? Just do it already. Whoever it is is probably gone by now. I, unless you want me to take a gun. No, no, no. I think that's less good. You do the door. I got the gun. Oh, hold on there. Hold on there, mister. Freeze. Oh, what? All right, all right. Just take it easy, Grandpa. Great hero, Everybody, Mike. Just calm down. Nah, just move over there. Go on, move. Let me say what I came to say. Now we're getting the exposition. What you're up against being back on this mountain. You should never have returned. I don't know why you did. After what happened last year. You mean with Hannah and Beth? Yeah, how could you know without being involved? Oh, we're responsible. You hold on to your horses. I don't take kindly to you kids coming up here to my mountain. Your mountain? Huh? I'm sure the Washingtons would be very surprised to hear that. <laughs> well, the mountain don't belong to me, it's true. But it don't belong to the Washingtons. This mountain belongs to the Wendigo. <laughs> Who? What is he talking about? the hell's a wendigo? Let's hear him out. Not like we have a choice. Now, I'm only gonna tell you this once. It doesn't matter to me if you believe it or not. I got reasons I wanna get it off my chest. See? I told you. He's guilty as shit. Guilty as something. Shut up, Mike. There is a curse that dwells in these mountains. Should any man or woman resort to cannibalism in these woods, the spirit of the Wendigo shall be unleashed. Oh, crap. <laughs> You're gonna need to find somewhere safe. The basement might be okay. Okay, get down there now, all of you, and wait. What? Why? For how long? Until dawn. Guys, I ran off and left Josh when I heard screaming. Where did you leave him? In the shed. Uh, your friend will already be dead. No. No, he can't be. We, we were just with him. A lot can happen quickly on this mountain. No. I'm gonna go get him. You can't go out there, Chris. I'm supposed to be his best friend, and, and, and I let him down. No, he let you down, Chris. He let all of us down. I don't care. I'm going to get him. Then I'll go with you. I, I don't need your help. Me going alone is suicide. Fine. The rest of you, get down in the basement. Be safe. And don't go outside again until we're back. You don't seem to understand the magnitude of the situation. Well, I'm going to get Josh, aren't I? No, I'm going to get Josh. You're going to help me. Do you understand? Uh, yeah, I think so. You need to follow me and do everything I tell you. Nice. The thing you want to kill. I know how to use a shotgun, man. No, you don't. What? How do you know? Just point and shoot. Trust me. I know. Hey. Well, I. Mark safe. Oh. Can you feel the love See you tonight? But. Well, I was gonna say, so, I. So, so tell me, you're the expert on these things. I, what's uh? I proved a what, good shot in the second chapter. Be careful, you follow my lead. So, how many times do I have to shoot it with the shotgun before it's dead? Well, you've been shooting it a long time. You, you mean this thing won't even kill it? No, it will slow it down. But well, how do you kill it? They don't like fire. I don't like fire. They fear it. And it can kill them. If you have to. See, their skin is like... It's like tough armor. Unless you burn it off first. 
Jesús. Well, what are these things like? I mean, are they just crazy unpredictable, or... I mean, can you figure out what they're gonna do? Well, here's some pattern. Like any animal. Or human. Well, you mean, like how? They've got schedules? Well, they only hunt at night. Oh. Why? I didn't ask. The, uh, pro Wendigo tips? Like if I rub garlic all over me, they won't be able to smell me or something? Oh, they'll still smell you. Anything like that? I can't see you if you're standing still. It's like toads. <laughs> Sight is based on changes in movement in their field of vision. So if I don't move, I, I'm, I'm basically invisible. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't recommend testing it out. Unless you have no other choice. You see the plot? There's blood on the floor. If these things when they go are or, or were human they, they still have some aspect of humanity in them? Well, they retain certain things. I mean, is it really right to kill them? <laughs> Maybe they could be cured or <laughs> they surrender human rights the moment they eat one another. There's no cure, there's no redemption. I, I, I mean, if they're still human, I don't know if it's right to hurt them. When you're staring one in the face, it's them or you. Feel free to take the high road. You won't be on it for long. Oh. Damn it! They're here. Right now. We gotta find Josh. He can still be out there. <laughs> First, the Wendigo. He'll render you immobile. And then he strips the skin off of your entire body. Piece by piece. And then he keeps you alive and aware and feasts on your organs. One piece at a time. Watch then. Yeah. Let's go now. It might still be near. He is. Okay, here we go. I'm not ready for this. Freeze! Wait. No more. Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Come on. Don't take so long! Oh, thank God. Shit. <laughs> Come on, Mike. Um. Go, Mike. Mike. Chris. Damn. Oh, man. Ask me, ask me. Oh, thank God, please. Let, let me in quick. Close the door. Chris. Run. Oh, my God, what happened? Go, go, go. That thing is like... Run. Ah!
Sorry, Josh. Statement of the night. Chris, where's the flamethrower guy? Uh, yeah, he, uh... He didn't make it? No. What happened? The thing, it, uh, tore him apart. Right in front of me. Oh, God. Yeah. Alright. These are all the doors? Yeah. Are you sure? What are you looking for? Another way out. Mike, look, I really don't think that's a good idea. We should stay put right here until dawn. At least we're safe down here. Oh, yeah? All wrapped up like a little present with a bow on top. That thing to tear us apart on Christmas morning. People will come for us in the morning. You don't sound so sure. That is what'll happen, right, Em? Yeah, I, I mean, right? Well, you can wait. I'm leaving. Mike, there's no key for the cable car. Josh, he's got to have it. Josh? One of his dirty little tricks. Great, great. If that fucking thing got a hold of Josh, then... We're shit out of luck. I don't know, Mike. It's possible. What's possible? It may have taken him down to the mine. What? I saw some horrible stuff down there. I think it's where that thing lives, and... Huh. M. What? Fuck it. I'm gonna get that key right from that thing's goddamn bedroom, and then I'm gonna get us all the hell out of here. <clears throat> and what is all that? So uh, that old guy's bag. Is that a map? That guy was prepared for anything. <laughs> Not quite. What is this place? Oh, my God. Wait, wait, wait. What is that? I was down there. It was horrible. You were? There had been a cave-in in the 50s, I guess, and these miners got trapped down there. Oh, my God. Some of them survived, but, like, 15 of them didn't make it. There was this reporter, and I think he figured out there had been some, like, big cover-up going on. I found these plans. They knew the mine was a death trap, but they let the miners keep working anyway. And I'm not sure what it means, but I found this chair. Dried blood all over the place, like somebody had been tortured. Michael, I'd like to maybe focus on how we're gonna get the fuck out of here, please. I'm just saying, it's weird how much crazy shit's gone on up here. What's weird is that there's a tunnel leading from the lodge to the sanatorium, see? That's how I got back here. I saw this when I was down there. That's where it lives. Em? Em, what is that? Huh? What is that? Ash. Em, oh my god, oh my god, it's, oh it's my god. It's nothing, it just it, it oh bit no. me and... Bit you? What bit you? The, the Wendigo. What? It's nothing, really. It's not a big deal. You okay? Shit. It doesn't hurt anymore, really. It's it's not that bad. Em, if that thing bit you... I, I know what you're thinking, and I'm fine. Are you? Yes. Emily, at least let us check it out. Emily, if the Wendigo bit you, you could turn into one of those things. Oh, that's ridiculous. He said it was from eating each other. Remember, he said oh, that. Is that how it works? Yes. It happens if it bit you, you're gonna turn into one, and then you're gonna turn on us. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! You can't be down here with us. What? Mike! You gotta go. Are you kidding me? You're putting us all in danger. Like hell I am! Emily, you can't stay here. Mike, just cool your head, okay? We don't know if it works like that. Maybe it's just a bite. I've seen what these fuckers can do, and I don't want to say it again. What is this? Guys, what are you doing? Door's right here. I am letting you do this voluntarily. Oh no, you're just making yourself feel better about sending me to my death since you know there's a Wendigo out there ready to rip me to pieces like it did with... Okay, oh my god, will you just go? Go, get out of here! Whoa, okay. Whoa, 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 Mike, calm down. You're, you're gonna shoot? Like me? This is the safe room, Em. Please. It is not safe as long as you're in it. Not for us. Don't, don't do that. I'm really sorry. Don't shoot her. If you want to all survive, don't shoot. Fuck, I can't do this. See, that was the totem that we found. Keep 
an eye on her. If you see anything weird, you guys know what to do. Yeah. No one leave. Okay? It's not safe out there. I'll be back soon. That, that he was gonna help us. With a flamethrower, dude? Now we don't have a chance. No, but it just means we've gotta be tough. We've gotta do this on our own. I don't know if I can. Ashley. Okay. Reading time. Um, only a few men. a little OCD. Oh. Only a few men have dared to hunt the Wendigo. I am the only man with who has ever kept them under control. Heed these words or it shall be your death and your death will be not will not be the last. The Wendigo must be contained. The Wendigo is the result of cannibalism. When a human being trapped in an icy winter storm on the mountain desperately longs to food and had nothing and had nothing to eat for days, then the Wendigo spirit takes a hold of him. Even the strongest my man cannot withstand this. I'm doing this all with the translation because I can't... Can I? Can I? Oh, I can. <laughs> the Wendigo spirit will begin to possess him. Even the strongest man is weak to it. He will kill without remorse. Often those... Companions who have traveled with him, he will eat the flesh raw from the corpses. I have seen this happen many years ago. A craving for flesh that cannot be stated, and then the change begins. The eyes turn first and become milky and white. Then the teeth become longer, like fangs. The creature gr grows, and the skin is pulled that across the bones. There was a There was a tribe that lived in these mountains, the Cree. There's a lot of history to this. Let me read. Uh the sh their shamans tell stories of a tall creature born in ice, the tribe respected the mountain and all the m animals with when and all the animals, Jesus, and all the men who lived on it, the mountains became sacred to the Cree. Every animal became sacred. Also, the Cree believed it was bad luck to harm an animal on the mountain and would hunt elsewhere. See, that's why you shouldn't have uh, killed any animals. In 1813, the miners arrived. They found... Tin and later traces of radium, they mined deep into the sacred mountain. The Cree say that the mountain cared, cried out, and this and this spirit was released. Survivor, mining disaster, death toll rises. Ooh. The Wendigo's eyes change; they become both sharper and more dim. The Wendigo this says that because the Wendigos are mutated from humans, when they hunt us, they know how to perfectly mimic their prey. Remember that? That they can mimic? Uh, the Wendigo sees movement. It is a hunter like a hawk, but it cannot see stillness. If you are to keep totally still, then the Wendigo will not be able to see you. Their skin and flesh of the wendigo are hard like armor they seem to feel no pain they cannot be cut or stabbed even bullets will not pierce their skin though a shotgun will keep them at bay because the wendigo is mutated from a human it knows how to hunt us it can perfectly mimic its prey you must remain sharp and disciplined I have killed six Wendigos. Knives or bullets will not harm them. Use a flamethrower, it is the best weapon. Fire envelops them, burns away their skin and makes them weak. But try not 
to kill them. Killing a Wendigo should be the last resort. Death releases the Wendigo spirit into the air. I have contained them. I used traps to catch them and fire to drive them into cages. The traps were baited with human limbs from those who had no further use for them. One by one, I caught those who, ba who had invested the mountain. There may be defenses, shamans, road of rituals. I have found native artifacts on the mountain and confide them to and co call them totems. Bunches of herbs and feathers. I. What is that? Uh, I covered their designs. Copied. Copied. Copied them. Oh, okay. I copied their designs. I have tested them. Out on the mountain, they work. They keep the Wendigo at bay. Not entirely, but enough. Both inside buildings, they do not... But inside buildings, they do not work. Hunger cravings, blah, 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 uh, Cree legends say that the Wendigo grows from the bite of another Wendigo, but the bite is harmless. I have been bitten, but it did not change. The only way is to eat the flesh of another. There is no other way. Uh, oh, no, 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 what? no, no. What is it? What does it say? Uh, it says that the bites, it, if it bites you, it's not infectious. It doesn't do anything. Let me see uh, that. I'm sorry, what did you say? Um, it says she'll be okay. It says what? You're gonna be fine. Fine, Michael almost shot me, is that she fine? Didn't shoot you. And this bitch almost let him. Hey, that's not fair, she was scared. I'm the one who's scared. I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Emily. I didn't know what was going to happen. There's none of us know. There's no excuse, there's no excuse for Emily, this. please, just try to understand. Understand the palm of my hand, bitch. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so, 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 so sorry. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Gotta get to Mike. Like now. No one takes the gun, just in case. Oh, Joshua. You should have listened to me. Because of your choices, people have died. I don't know which is worse actively triggering events that lead to someone's death or passively allowing a tragedy to occur because you couldn't lift a goddamn finger to help someone else. <laughs> Remember last year, huh? How you left your poor sisters to die? You did nothing to help them. Paralyzed by your own self-centered fear while a real threat was closing in. Now it's all about you, Josh. It's always all about you. Your game has gone terribly wrong. And your friends, like your sisters, have deserted you. You're all alone. Can you feel how cold your loneliness has become? Huh? Joshua, why did you hurt them? Because they hurt me, I didn't hurt anyone. Um, they hurt me. Well, they didn't hurt you, Joshua. Not intentionally. They made a stupid mistake and a terrible tragedy befell your sisters. I did not intend for that to happen. It just did. And they were sorry at least until you subjected them to your night of horrific torture. I'm so sorry. Let's hope a 
it is not too late for atonement. And that your friends, if they still are your friends, can save you from the depths of darkness.